Hey, what's cracking everybody? Welcome back to Computer Games Hardware. Today on the channel, we are doing my personal rig build update. We are moving from AM4 over to AM5. I've been talking about it for quite some time and finally we are doing it. Uh, I might look a little bit different uh, than I do in the rest of the video and that's because I am recording this two days later because I just went to throw all my footage into my editor into DaVinci and realized I did not hit record on the intro to this video so I am doing it again and uh, if I look a bit grubby that's because I am I've been working on my car I was changing some brakes and stuff like that uh, so I look a little bit grubby I am just filming this right as uh, I go to edit this video let's have a look at the hard that we're installing. So we've got the uh, Ryzen 9 9950X. Uh, we went with the non X3D version because, uh, you know, I'm mostly doing video editing. It's probably 80% video editing, 20% gaming uh, for my system. The X3D version has a uh, $200 premium, which uh, I didn't think was justified. I think I'll still get heaps of performance. Uh, out of this thing and uh, be pretty satisfied for my needs. So I saved a couple of hundred bucks on the processor. Uh, I'm pairing it with the uh, Trident Z5 Neo. That's uh, 32 gigabytes of thick 6000 MT RGB kit. Uh, I was going to go for a 64 gig kit but uh, it was sold out uh, so they sent me this instead so that is an upgrade that I probably will do but this will do fine just for now and I'm pairing it with the uh, MSI mag x870e tomahawk Wi-Fi this is a pretty beefy motherboard it's got all the bells and whistles USB four, five gig LAN, all that sort of stuff. Plenty of uh, USB ports to stick in my lights and my cameras and all the audio visual gear and stuff like that. So I'm quite thrilled about it. All right, enough looking at me. Let's get stuck into the build video. Stick around to the end as well because I talk about some of the issues and uh, things that I had with uh, keeping my install of Windows and stuff like that. So uh, enjoy everyone. Hey, just want to jump in here and say if you're enjoying any of the content on computer games hardware please chuck us a like share and subscribe and watching the videos really helps me out big thank you to all our supporters our og supporters from supporting us from day one and all our new subscribers we've just been creeping up to a couple of different milestones here so i don't like to go too over the top with that but i just want to thank you guys for supporting the channel it really means a lot to me you can also find us on all our social media. Uh, we've got Instagram, we've got threads. I did some uh, threads about the Nintendo Switch 2 Direct that so you can check out. We've also got Blue Sky, TikTok. Thanks for watching everybody.
all right and we're back and as you can see we've got the computer nice and set up looking absolutely brilliant it's got the rainbow puke on at the moment as the default but i'll play around with that i did run into some issues though this motherboard uh requires uh two cpu psu cables uh and i didn't have the extension sleeves for another cpu cable but I actually just pulled them out because you can't see them in the system the way I have it set up in the uh, Landcool 217. So uh, I just elected to, I set the whole thing up and then I was like, you know what, I don't like having the extension cable in there when you can't see it and it's not doing anything. So I just ripped it out. Uh, I also encountered a uh, threaded motherboard screw. So uh, it was uh, threaded into the uh, standoff. Uh, so that was wasn't uh, too much of a problem, just a pair of pliers and uh, got that out and got those swapped out. So uh, it was a bit muck, bit of mucking around with uh, that sort of stuff, but I did encounter some issues uh, with Windows. I was a bit lazy and I decided not to do a fresh install of Windows, which some people might think is sacrilege. I don't think it's that much of a big deal if you know what you're doing. Uh, important thing is to uh, uh, make sure you can activate Windows. So uh, uh, make sure uh, you have uh, your Windows key or you have it uh, linked to your Windows account. Um, so you can update. So that wasn't too much of a problem. The other big thing is you need to... Uh, make sure that you update your chipset drivers when you are uh, you know migrating to a new cpu so uh that was all cool no problems there i did encounter a couple of issues though so the first one as you can see here let's go to the desktop cam uh i am having some trouble with bluetooth now uh as you can see uh i have my uh 8 bit 2 pro 2 controller here and i've been trying to remove it because it is not uh you know connected to the bluetooth on this motherboard uh and it is failing to remove so that is a bit of a pain um, but we will just uh, have to work that out. So piece of advice would be uh, if you are going to uh, you know, use your current version of Windows, uh, make sure you unpair all your devices so you can repair them uh, later on. I did have some issues with the motherboard as well. Uh, when I installed everything and booted everything up, the temperatures looked extremely high and I was actually panicking. I thought that my 360 AIO didn't have the uh, uh, power to keep the uh, 9950X cool. However, once I went to MSI's uh, support page, uh, I did find out that there was a hardware monitor issue on that version of the BIOS. So update your BIOS immediately if you are using the X870E Tomahawk, uh, so you're getting the uh, right hardware monitor readings because uh, mine was like over 100 plus and I was like, there is no way that this is uh, running extra hot. So after a uh, BIOS update, Everything went back to normal. Everything was fine. Dialed in my uh, fan tuning settings so it's uh, nice and quiet. So uh, make sure you do that. Always update your BIOS. There is a uh, BIOS update USB stick. Uh, this motherboard has a clear CMOS and a BIOS update button on the back. did have one other niggling little issue. And... Uh, you guys might be able to get it. It was bloody Ryzen Master. So I thought that, uh, you know, with PBO2 curve optimizer and all that sort of stuff uh, being new and for these CPUs that they would uh, fix Ryzen Master, but I've had some issues with it. It still runs like shit. Uh, so I don't know why I'm surprised about that, but the way I use it is I get Ryzen Master to optimize it and then I go into the BIOS and dialed in those settings, uh, but I couldn't even do that. It, it, it crashed and then when it rebooted, it was uh, uh, still quote unquote optimizing and then it ultimately failed. So I'm going to have to play around with it. I might have to uninstall it and reinstall it and see what's going on there, see if the SDK is not working properly. Uh, but I need to dial in my uh, overclocking settings. So 
uh, there will be more videos on that. And uh, we'll play around with the 9950X, the Tomahawk Wi-Fi, and see how they perform. So we'll do some streams, we'll do some more hardware videos, and I might do some a uh, little bit of a quick and easy overclocking video if you have one of these CPUs. All right, that's going to do it for this one, guys. Thank you very much for watching. Uh, I hope you've had a good time watching this. Uh, this may or may not come out this week, depending on my personal circumstances with the passing of my grandmother so may she rest in peace uh i hope uh, uh if anyone out there is uh suffering from a loss or uh have uh, any mental health issues or need some support and you're a part of this community please reach out to me drop a note in the comments say hi and uh this is a uh, really engaging and supporting community so if you're doing a tough out there uh, uh reach out have a chat, and uh, let's support each other that way. Thanks very much for watching, guys. See you guys in the next one.